Artem and I do have such a special love story. Artem came into my life so unexpectedly. Artem was my Dancing with the Stars pro. This yeah. is Artem. <laughs> what's up? I don't know, you tell me what's up. <laughs> what a single. Just the chemistry and the feelings, everything was so magnetic and he's just everything I ever dreamed of and more. Hey, come run your mommy. Run, run, run. Go, 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 go. Artem proposed to me two and a half years ago. Will you marry me? Artem. <laughs> yes. We really want to be husband and wife, but there's been a lot of things that have delayed our wedding. Well, first, I got pregnant. That was kind of a big shocker. Are you serious? Yeah. Mm, am I getting the biggest chocolate kisses? Tete, I think we're gonna have to make it official, huh, baby? It's obviously a long time coming. I mean, from proposal to where we are right now. I feel like we can totally plan this in four weeks. Four weeks? Well, think of what we do. Like, as entertainers, I feel like we just never know when the next gig is. And no matter what we know in the next four weeks, like, we have off. I say we get it done before dancing. Okay, so much keeps happening, and why not just make our family a family, officially? Okay. Yeah? Let's do it. Hello, Mom. Teo, did you say hi to your babushka? Yeah, yeah. I said that right, right? <laughs> <laughs> oh, is your mom loving it? Yeah. That's cute. Yeah. My brother and my parents currently live in Russia. Everything that's been going on between Russia and Ukraine is affecting my parents' travel situation. Let's show your grandma how you are on this. Whoa. <laughs> U.S. if you want to apply for a visa right now, it's it's impossible. It's hard because I know like Artem's mom gets super emotional when she sees all these things because they miss out on like all these moments. That has to be so tough. Yeah, I'm FaceTiming with my mom, yeah. So she feels like part of it. I mean, we live in the great times where you can Skype and FaceTime and Zoom and do all that, but it's not the same. My mom never held Mateo as a baby, you know? Parents never physically saw my son. So Artem and I finally decided that we're gonna get married. Oh yay! In like oh, four time. weeks. And what? what? There's no way. No, before Dancing with the Stars starts. Yeah, we're doing it. Courthouse? No, absolutely not. I think I could honestly find a wedding menu. Look at it. We live in Napa Valley. I feel like there's so many places. My sister shocks me a lot, but this, like, <laughs> Nicole. I've seen your Pinterest board. My sister has very detailed ideas of what she wants for a wedding. I just know that Pandora's box is just now opened. I heard you were interested in doing a little tour of our venue. Um, yeah. I'm actually gonna start you here. Oh, this okay. is where your guests will enter, right through here. I mean, your whole property's, I mean, mine. <laughs> it's beautiful. This is a ceremony space. Let me just get the feel from the background. Okay. Is that the smile you're gonna have when you go oh, down? God, she's so judgy, isn't she? <laughs> what do I give like a fierce like? Do I do a catwalk? No, yes. exactly. We can also do ceremony on the lawn, and you can walk out of the chateau as yes. your grand entrance, facing directly out at the vineyards. String lighting yes, is really included. Cool. I just got full body chills. Me too. Yeah. <laughs> your guys' wine is impressive. Yeah. Then your views, like all of it. You're the total package. And are you guys pretty booked in August? It's been absolutely crazy. So we are booked, but my recommendation to you is Labor Day weekend. <sighs> but you can't do that because of Dance with Stars. Well, it's like that's, a tight... It's dancing. That's the, yeah, the whole thing. I'm like, <laughs> It just sucks because you come to these places, you fall in love, and now it's really tough to hear. Like, now it's, sorry. Okay, Burbird. Don't know we're ready. We need to get shoes. What do you Whoa. think? Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. I actually forgot how pretty it was. Wow. You said cheat is on forever. Forever, right? I agree. I should keep it on forever. Wow, Nicole. What do you think? I kept thinking to myself, like, uh, it's a little weird that this was your first wedding dress, but now when I see it on you, it's like, this was just made for you. Yeah. And who you are. Stunning. So stunning, right? 
I bought it. I spent a lot of money on it. When they say, like, you, when you see someone in the dress, you know that's right? That's right. Bird, who does she look like? You. You look like me? You look like yourself. Oh, I look like oh, myself. I and that's a big deal. Do I look like a princess, though? Yeah. Yeah? Like mama. Just putting this dress on, I just, I'm obsessed with it. The lace with the nude lining, and it's just me. And it has that European charm that I always love so much. It's just, it's right. Now the one thing is, in Napa, there's only so many wineries that they allow to have weddings, and then they're only allowed to have so many per year. So but there's a lot news? of, <laughs> no, inside. So we could do inside. And you really want to get married on the inside? living in I this mean, place. It's not the dream, but it can happen. Four weeks. You really want an outdoor wedding. Yeah. But now you're willing to settle for indoors, even though you want to do your dream wedding. No, but right. indoor, would you want to do indoor? At least we're still in wine country. They're just ballrooms. Ballrooms? Sounds boring. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I've seen beautiful ballroom weddings, yeah. yes, but I know they're not your style. Are you like set set on? I mean, I don't know, guys. I really don't know. I just want to make it work. I mean, I'll be honest. I think it's pretty. What would Teo say? <laughs> I don't know. Well, Artem, this is your wedding too, so. I know, you... but I want her to be happy. You know. I know. But are you happy? I don't know. This, that's definitely not what I imagined, for sure. I mean, my biggest issue, obviously, I'm not planning to get married again. And of course, I wanted to make sure that my parents can be there and my family can be there and my brother and, you know, because it's an important part of it, you know? Yeah. Especially on top of it, they never met Mateo and like that I would know. be the perfect way of them meeting our son. And I mean, I'm not thrilled about options over here. No, I agree. Look, I'm not and... regretful to try to make it happen. Yeah. For sure not. I think the one thing that kind of like on my mind all the time and it's just my parents, that's it. Yeah. Everything else, you know, it's... I just really, really want your parents to be there. I wish there was like, just something. I mean, if God forbid, like, I don't even want to like throw her out there, but like, if my parents will never meet my son in person, that would be the most devastating thing in me. Yeah. Because you can never get that. Never ever with anything. I'm sorry. The one thing that I've realized of being a fiance to him, Artem is definitely a realist. Artem is so close to his family, but yet they're so far away. And Artem doesn't have a lot of people here in America. And it just makes me so emotional because I'm all about family. Like family is number one in my life. Like. My son doesn't get to meet his grandparents. All you want to do is like put him on a flight and bring him here. And we can't do that. Now I'm starting to realize getting married in Napa Valley is just not going to work. Oh, Nicole, good morning. Can I take a picture of you in front of oh, your? Oh, wow. One, two, three. Let's do this. All right, soon to be bride. Here's to uh, the same for the rest of your life. <laughs> so much for coming. All the signs have shown us how Napa isn't right. Like nothing's worked out. We feel like we're compromising everything. And I get it, we're a few weeks out and this is <laughs> bad. <laughs> but then I just started to what? think like, we don't even have the venue we want in Napa. Maybe we just go elope somewhere, but maybe somewhere your parents can go. Somewhere where we love, somewhere where you propose. Would you do Paris? I mean, definitely a great idea. It clicked that we should do it in Paris. I feel like Artem and I have had our most romantic moments in Paris. We've had like those movie moments. 